endorphins are getting high, maybe. Hi, I'm Katie Wayne, and this is Animalist News. So the creators of a new BBC documentary entitled Dolphins Spy in the Pod has discovered something pretty interesting. Dolphins get high. Cameras cleverly disguised as fish captured footage of dolphins lightly chewing a puffer fish, passing it around, and then entering a trance-like state. Rob Pilly, the producer of the series, stated that after they chewed the puffer gently, they began hanging around with their noses at the surface, as if fascinated by their own reflection. <laughs> That is hilarious. But author of Discover's science sushi blog, Christy Wilcox, thinks otherwise. You see, tetrodotoxin, the poison that puffer fish secrete when they feel threatened, is not a narcotic drug. In very low doses, it can cause numbness or a tingling effect, but it does not alter any state of perception or enhance sensations. But this is only in small doses. If consumed in higher amounts, the toxin is very deadly. To suggest that dolphins are getting high off of these puffer fish suggests that the dolphins know exactly how long to chew on the puffer fish before it gets dangerous. These are very intelligent, curious animals we're talking about, so it's not entirely out of the question, but it's a bit of a stretch. What do you guys think? Are these dolphins getting high, or is this just a case of a curious animal playing with a strange fish? Let me know in the comments below, and if you want to read more about this, there are clickable links in the doobly doo. Don't forget to check out these videos over Mia. Subscribe down Mia. I love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. Mwah.